What's up, Zombie Talk 1, 2, 3. September 19th uh, yesterday was a great night for Cardinal fans. Not a great night for Atlanta Braves fans. Uh, so we have Kyle Loesch facing Roy Holiday. Going in the game, not really thinking that the Cardinals have that big of a chance, but really the way that they've been playing, they could beat anyone at this point. They've already won two out of three from the Phillies. So we're going for three out of four. Uh, we've been on fire winning 10 of our last 12 games, I believe. Uh, I mean, everything is clicking. You know, you have Percal hitting, uh, Pools is hitting, Berkman's hitting. Holiday has been out, but he's he really, you know, he's been out a lot this year. He's been had a lot of weird injuries. You step in Alan Craig, which is a guy who needs more playing time, and he's been stepping in very nicely. Um, it really just, everything's coming together. And, and this is kind of what happened in 06. Total different, total different year. But the same fact is that they came back, um, and they had a really bad August. They had a really bad run. They were under, you know, they were... 10 under 500 in August or whatever, and they come back and they barely get into the playoffs, and they end up winning the playoffs as an underdog. Uh, this might happen this year with the Cardinals this year. If they can beat the Braves, who are expecting to win this wild card, no one thought the Cardinals would catch them. Cardinals were out before this year even started with Adam Wainwright going out. They've had a really you know off year in August. They had you know back and forth, just just an off year really. Um, and they got all these guys at the trade deadline by trading Colby Rasmus. Um, so far, the things that we haven't seen in this deal return yet is uh, the draft picks and the player to be named later. Um, but the player to be named later, like three of them. But, um, you know, the players that we've actually got have done really well. Octav Octav Octavio Dotel uh, was very important to get him. Uh, Zepchinski has been okay. Not great, though. Um, he's been off and on. Edwin Jackson has been fantastic. I mean, he's been such a solid pitcher for us. Uh, his numbers have been really solid lately, too. Um, and so, and then Corey Patterson has, has not even helped at all, but maybe help in the postseason if we get there. But here's what happened last night. So the Cardinals are winning 4-3, to three, and I'm following the games. I see, oh, the Braves are losing 4-1. to one. All of a sudden, I check back the score between 4-4. Four, four. Oh, my God, then I see 5-4. Okay, wow. We're not going to get any ground. We're not going to get to the playoffs. It was one of those things where you felt like if you don't, if the Braves don't lose tonight, we're not going to make the playoffs. Kyle Lowe's just facing Roy Holiday. We barely find a way to beat them. They scored two in the ninth. We barely find a way to beat the, the Phillies. To beat them with Roy Holiday on the mound, amazing. And and so we went 4-3. to three, And then like a second later, I'm looking on game day. I'm looking, oh, Omar Infante is up two outs. He's the one who almost lost a game for the Marlins. A home run with two outs off Craig Kimbrell. I mean... This is the sixth home run of the year for Omar Infante, and he does it off one of the best closers in baseball. It was the Marlins versus Braves. He hits a home run, and the Cardinals are now two and a half out. Um, simply amazing. And then they have the Tony TV, and then all of a sudden they see the home run, and the clubhouse goes nuts. You can hear in the background, Cardinal clubhouse absolutely going nuts, and Tony Lewis actually smiles. This was such a great moment for me last night. It gives us a chance getting into the playoffs. Now we're facing... Three teams that are under 500 or right around it. If we're able to win, this is what I'm saying. Just win all nine games that we have left or whatever we have left. If you win them all, you're giving yourself the best chance possible to get in the playoffs. If we got in the playoffs, yes, we would face the Phillies first, and that would be so hard to beat them. I mean, the Phillies in the postseason, no one wants to play the Phillies first. But we just won three out of four for them. And we had, we had our starters facing their starters, and we won. We had to face Cole Hamels. We had to face Roy Holiday. We had to face uh, Roy Oswald, I believe. And, you know, it doesn't get much tougher than that. Yeah, Cliff, Cliff Lee, but, I mean, still. This is, we could beat the Phillies, I believe. And if the Cardinals have, win these, this and get to the playoffs, they'll have so much momentum. They could, if they beat the Phillies, they might be able to win the World Series. So this year might be the year. It, again, a while ago I said it would take a miracle. It still will take a miracle coming back all the way and getting to the playoffs. But, God, I would love to see the Cardinals make the playoffs this year. I mean, it would just make my year, really. Uh, I've had a lot of awesome things this year. But, really, we haven't seen a playoff run. Um, we haven't seen a playoff run since 2009, and that was a go year where Holiday dropped the ball and all that. This is not good. 2011 might be a very special year. The deals that, that uh, John Mazzak made might have paid off, uh, might pay off. And um, 2012, you know, he's making moves for 2012, and, and we're still in it. We're still in it. And I think it's great to try to lock up some guys for 2012, but we are still in it. Uh, it's going to be a very exciting race. All right, thanks for watching this. Sorry, I've been starting a lot this whole video. Thanks for watching this. Let me talk one, two, three. All right.